Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Warmed up today, didn't it? Oh yeah, it really did. It's nice to see the sun. It's a little still uh, hazy out there. Yeah, there's a little bit of that wildfire smoke overhead now and, and a little bit of tomorrow, but then by Friday it's all gone. Yay. So, hey, we've got some other exciting news. Can you see that? Taylor ah. Park. Taylor oh. Park. The fountain is running. Fountain is Don't running. Don't know how many days, but probably in the last week or two got turned on. Fun fact, that was actually given to St. Albans by the former governor of Vermont back in 1887, so a while ago, but it was refurbed in 2014, and now it's there for everyone to enjoy. 69 in the Rail City, 70 for Essex, New York, 71 in Z, Central Vermont, 60s to about 70, so a very nice evening. No showers, a little bit of wind. Messina has a gust to 23, Rutland gusting to 21. We're checking out southern Vermont here and the Harriman Reservoir, Wilmington, Route 9. No clouds, no showers being picked up anywhere on storm tracker. It's just that little bit of haze very high in the sky, not impacting air quality. So tomorrow morning, some clouds get to Messina by 8 o'clock and there'll be one or two little showers that come through about lunchtime, especially if you're somewhere near Saranac Lake or Middlebury or Rutland midday. Most everyone else is just dry with sunshine. And then on Friday we do it all over again, but there's a few more showers. See how there's more green areas on the map? Five o'clock Friday morning. A lot of us actually waking up to clouds on Friday, but they don't last. The showers, the clouds will all exit out to the east before too long on Friday. So we've got the next two days very close to 80 degrees and mostly dry, even though of course, those little shower chances come through. And then Saturday, beautiful blue sky, cooler, about 70, but it'll be a nice Mother's Day weekend. So the summer preview here, the next two days, 80, and then 60s to about 70 over the weekend. But all of this is pretty much above average. Tomorrow on Lake Champlain, the water temperature last checked 50 degrees. So coming up out of the 40s finally. Wind action generally between 5 and 10 knots or so tomorrow. So it's not as cold tonight. Most of us not dealing with frost, certainly not in the Champlain Valley, low about 50. And then for tomorrow, just one or two showers coming through late morning and early afternoon, 70s to closer to 80 along Lake Champlain. A couple of spots likely hit 80 tomorrow, Burlington 80 and uh, mid and upper 70s as we head down towards Brattleboro. So just a tiny shower coming through tomorrow. A couple more of them though for Friday morning as you saw on Futurecast and then it's dry for Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Monday, I should say Sunday being Mother's Day, 65 there with the partly sunny sky. And next week we've got shower chances on Tuesday and on Thursday, but those don't look like big rounds of rain, just a, a couple little showers. Most of next week, 60s and lower 70s, so no major warm-up, at least uh, for next week. That's how it looks for now. Brian, Alice.